So someone walks in here to our espresso bar and asks us for a coffee machine and grinder package. And they've got a specific budget. I'm gonna cover the kind of machines that I'd recommend if you've got a $2,000 budget or up to a $5,000 budget or beyond there and give you a few options of what we would look to recommend. So Tom's just walked in and said he wants to get himself a machine and grinder and only wants to spend $2,000. I would show Tom the GS2 Precision Grinder, it's a single dosing grinder, and the Quick Mill Pipper, which is a single boiler with a 58 mil head. And the reason I'd start to look at this is because they're significant upgrades from what you might get from an appliance store. And it's gonna give them the flexibility to learn more about coffee, but also create a great coffee because there is the ability to change different types of beans, being a single dose grinder, and also the ability to really dial in and get a nice fine grind because we know that the Pippa can handle that kind of great pressure. A closer look at the GS2, well it is an entry level single dose grinder. And single dose means that you can pop any amount of pre-weighed beans into the top hopper here, and as you turn it on, you can change the variability of the grind. So you could have maybe a, a filter grind or an espresso grind, very easy with a dial at the front. So it allows a lot of flexibility for someone who hasn't yet got a coffee machine that might be using an aero press or a pour over to still enjoy those at home, but then dial this grinder in for the espresso that the pip is gonna be able to handle and need to get that finer, grind to build up the pressure and get great extractions. So it's really covering, you know, your current coffee habits and helping you to introduce into better espresso. The GS2 allows you to use this dosing pot to catch the grind individually and they do fit perfectly into the handle. So you can transfer the grind straight into your handle uh, or if this is a coarser grind, you can put that straight into your pour over or an aero press. So a lot more flexibility. There's a button on here which allows you to press it and grind on demand or you can just run it flat out with a switch at the back and, and keep it purging uh, constantly. So the GS2 is a step up from one of those normal uh, appliance style grinders that you don't have any flexibility at all. You can get blades for them, you can change the blades and put a really expensive set of blades in there uh, to increase that quality of the grind if you choose as well. So the Pippa is a good quality Italian machine uh, and has fantastic heritage from the Quick Mill brand. You can get it in this white and timber, a black and timber, or a full stainless steel finish. So a few different options to suit you personally. A lot of machines at this price point don't have that kind of uh, customization that you want to enjoy out of a higher end machine. You've got the smaller 450 mil single boiler, you've got a 58 mil group handle, which is the same as what a cafe would use, and you can change the baskets to be single or double. You've got a cool touch steam wand. The only negative really about these kind of machines is you are the, the tool that makes the machine work. You have to flick a switch and choose whether you're gonna be boiling water to brew espresso, or then flick another switch to purge all of that water out and then generate steam to be out of froth. So that process takes a little bit longer uh, because you've got to purge it out, which means your espresso sits a little bit longer, but it is at a significant uh, cost reduction to the next level of machines. If you can get that process down pat pretty quick, you can make beautiful espresso and get great milk and still have amazing coffees. So this package sits at around the $1,800 mark, so well under the $2,000, allowing about $200 for all the accessories that you would use to make a better cup of coffee. A better tamper, a tamp mat, some extra milk jugs, or any of those accessories that you haven't quite got yet in your kit. Now we have Mary coming into our espresso bar to get her and her family a wonderful machine, perhaps for a, a big present or something. The budget's a little bit higher and we're going under that $5,000 mark. Now it might sound like a lot of money, but we're between two and $5,000, there's a whole range of different options to look at. So I want to explain those to you. Over here we do have a Rocket Giotto Chronometro R, which is actually a rotary version HX style uh, machine. And over here we do have a quick mill Rubino machine which has a vibration pump in it. And in the middle we do have a Precision GS7 coffee grinder. So this grinder can work really well with both of these options uh, if you're looking to try and step it up and get a finer grind. Um, it's going to be definitely an upgrade from the GS2. Now if we look at this package together we're going to be sitting around the three and a half thousand dollar mark. And the reason being 
is the vibration pump in this is where we're going to get a lot of saving. The pumps allow you to have great pressure and they kind of ramp up to that nine bar pressure that we all talk about. You've got a three litre water tank in them. They're beautifully Italian styled and Italian made and have a full stainless steel chassis with your 58 mil group head. So this is gonna be a great replication of something that you might get in a cafe still as well, but with some finesse and some beautiful finishing that's gonna help it look appealing in the house. You get your cool touch wands, your hot water tap, and with the HX you can steam, brew shots, or do hot water at the same time. Over here we have the Rocket Giotto Chronometro R with the grinder and you're going to be hitting around that $4,500 mark. And you think, well, where's the value in that? Well, simply, the R stands for rotary pump. And that brings a whole lot of value into a coffee machine because we've gone away from the vibration pump, we've got consistent nine bar pressure. You can now have this machine plumbed and have a great filtration system and never have to worry about filling up your top tank. And all of that uh, heating and brewing is exactly the same in the front end. However, it's now controlled digitally via a PID in under the drip tray. You can also have your drip tray run as a pipe down into a drain. So you can use the machine all day with that water supply coming in from the rotary pump and the mains connection. And you can safely have all of that water drain away very easily as well. What is a PID? The PID is a digital way to control the temperature of a boiler. It allows you to set it and uh, it will fluctuate up and down by one or two degrees, but it's a much more accurate way for a machine to measure temperature and maintain that inside the boiler. Where in a lower end machine, you might have a pressure stat, which is a mechanical way to turn the element on and off. You've definitely got uh, a bigger frame size and a next level Italian styling in the detail. So you've got some nicer uh, hot water taps, your group handles are the full uh, depth so they can take the big 21 gram baskets as well so there's more value added there and you do start to get a naked porta filter handle. All of those things are definitely are uh, the value there in the difference between these two packages. If you wanted to literally upgrade something like this to this machine, you're going to have to spend that kind of money if you're going to buy the accessories or extras separately and add them into your pack. And then we've got the grinder, the GS7 from Precision. It's still a Chinese made grinder and it sits around the $700 price point. So you could definitely bring this value up and start to spend around $1,200 or more and get a matching uh, grinder from Rocket or a matching one for Quick Mill if you wanted to. But the grind, you know, you've got to have something that is auto dosing, easy to change the actual grind, and a bigger blade burr set. So we're up to a 64 mil burr set here, and it's a grind on demand grinder. You simply can press single dose or double dose, and it's going to grind into your porter filter and make life so much easier. Now I know not everyone's going to be getting a dosing pot and a set of scales and using recipes like we talk about, so it definitely makes it easy for anyone in the household just to get the handle out of the coffee machine, pop it in and get the grind, tamp it and get an espresso shot because we know that one person in the household is making sure it's dialed in perfectly so that the rest of them can have a really easy coffee in the morning. So that's our under $5,000 budget. We're going to be, again, that three and a half to four and a half thousand dollar mark. Uh, someone who's looking at this kind of gear is going to look at little extras like OCDs for distributing uh, and a few other extras that you might look at, scales, dosing pots. So you could get up to that five grand pretty easy. But the quality of this machines is going to be beautiful. You're going to get amazing flexibility in variable of grind and extractions and really silky and beautiful milk because the boiler sizes in these are the 1.8 liters, which is a ton of steam. You can handle having 10 people over uh, for a, a beautiful breakfast in the morning or your espresso martinis at night. It's going to handle that volume very easily. And now we've got Rod. Rod's turned up and said, hey, I've had a couple of coffee machines over the years and I'm ready to go the next level. He's got over $5,000 to spend. So I'm going to show you here the ECM Synchronica. The product comes out of Germany and the finish on this and the detail is just that true German engineering that you'd expect. It's definitely got a high level of sophistication in every part that's made. The steam taps are over engineered. The group handles are fully balanced and weighted. Um, you've got your rotary pumps, dual boilers. Uh, you can plumb this thing in. You've got full um, 
temperature control to your front brew head. They've gone to the next stage in protecting the chassis with a full powder coated anthracite finish. So that'll last for a long time. A really big drip tray, which can be run from a hose down to a drain if you need to. It does come with a big water tank if you don't want to run it from the rotary pump. And you can get a variable um, valve in here which allows you to vary the flow. That's an add-on extra that ECM do do. We've got a special video on that one, which is called a flow controller if you want to check it out if you're looking at this level of machine in your home. And we're gonna pair that with a Ferenzato all ground grinder. Now in the first um, package, I kind of said, well, maybe you're brewing some other device at home and you wanna step up to a great espresso machine. Well, the Ferenzato has you covered there. It can easily change from espresso to uh, filter grinds, so easy with the front dial there. You've got a set of titanium burrs in there and you can pull it all out and get in and clean it out super easy. It's got a removable chute, so if it does get jammed up, it can pass that grind easy. And it can be used as a single dose grinder. It will hold a little bit of retention, but it's definitely uh, a great grinder to flash lights at you. <laughs> So you may have noticed the little light at the back has just died. It's been one of those challenging days here today shooting. Uh, so back on the Ferenzato, uh, you've got a full digital display here, which does change uh, color when you're going from espresso to mocha or filter. And then the settings change. So it's very easy to control your uh, dose that is coming out automated with your single or double cup uh, porta filter button options. Uh, and also when you change to your filters and your mocha, those buttons will change color, but also the ability to change how they're actually working. So with a preset or a press and hold. So super amount of flexibility there. And as I said, it, it allows you to have a full range of grind options for your full espresso bar. Because if you're gonna spend this kind of money on a coffee machine for home, I'm sure you've got a pour over, an AeroPress or some other devices that you love to play with as well. So a grinder that's gonna fit all of those options. Now, as you start to spend a bit more money on a coffee machine, you've got to make sure that your grinder is going to keep up. There is no point having great amount of pressure from a rotary pump and maybe variable pressure control and temperature control if you're going to skimp out on not getting a good grinder. As I said before, the, the titanium coated burrs in the Ferenzato are going to give you that clean, crisp, beautiful uh, acidity and grind flavors that you're, you're going to get um, far better than a, a conical burr grinder, which can be a little bit muddy. So if you're chasing that beautiful fresh style flavors, a flat burr grinder is gonna help. If you wanna get just body and not really worry about those kinds of things, maybe look at a Mazzaconi or Robot, which has the conical burrs, which will just give you a heap of body. So I did say it's over five grand. This pack's about six and a half thousand uh, dollars. And if you're at this price point, you're definitely gonna be looking at a set of good scales, your dosing pots, uh, your OCD or NCD distributors, and a whole range of other cool little um, accessories to make the kit look awesome in your home. So you may hit seven or seven and a half thousand dollars with all of those extras but it's gonna be well worth it because you'll be able to make a good style uh, analytically approached brew in your house. So before I wrap up, the one thing we did talk about here was a coffee machine and grinder package. I wanna stress that you can't buy one of these uh, machines without buying a grinder. You've gotta have a fresh ground bean so you can adjust that grind and dial it into your machine. Don't think you can buy one of these grind these machines and have a pre-ground packaged coffee from anywhere. It's just gonna not do any justice. So the rule of thumb we like to say is spend between 25 to 30% of your machine spend on a grinder, and then you're gonna be matching the quality of that grind to what the machine can use in performance. So there you have it, three different options in different price points that you could use as a home barista and enjoy making great coffee. What would you put in here differently? Do you think you'd use one of these machines? Have they been your dream machines? Or perhaps a different grinder? I'd love to hear in the comments below what you would look to put on your bench. I'm sure there's a whole different range of options. These are ones that we love and recommend. If you're in Australia and you wanna buy one of these packs, reach out to us. We'll happily help you out and get one of these into your home. Anyway, thanks very much for watching everyone. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.